There is a new Adidas confirmed app. So in this video, I'm going to help you guys out with the confirmed app, how to cop sneakers, how to increase your chances, and everything you guys need to know about the brand new Adidas confirmed app. If you guys love sneakers and you love sneaker giveaways, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys enjoy this video and this video is useful, please make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Hitting that thumbs up really does help this video out and help out the channel. It pushes the algorithm them to push this video out to more people so more sneakerheads like yourselves will be able to get this video in their feed as well so make sure you guys hit that thumbs up if you do enjoy this video also make sure you guys give me a follow on instagram at dannymore2369 that is where i host my sneaker giveaways so make sure you guys give me a follow if you love sneaker giveaways so i'm going to help you guys out with this brand new adidas confirmed app this is technically version 2 of the app because adidas originally did release sneakers on the adidas confirmed app Back in like 2015, 2016, they did move over to the Adidas app that we've been using for quite a few years now. And now it looks like they're shifting over back again to Adidas Confirmed. This time it's a new app, a little bit new of a system. So I want to help you guys out and help you guys increase your chances of actually copying on the Confirmed app and tell you guys everything you guys need to know about the brand new Adidas Confirmed app. So with the original Adidas Confirmed app back in 2015, 2016, I actually still have the app on my phone. If you still have the OG Adidas Confirmed app on your phone, leave a comment down below, let me know. I wanna see who else still has the original app. But on that app, basically how it worked was you created an account, you signed up for an Adidas account, and you logged in and on a specific time, specific day, there was a countdown for a release such as, you know, the Yeezy 350 V2 Turtle Dove, for example. I wound up copying this pair of Turtle Doves for retail on the Adidas Confirmed app. I also wound up winning some other shoes on that app as well. But basically, the app worked where you, you know, signed up, you created your account. When the timer came down, you basically had to click on it and hope for the best and hope that you wind up taking a W. That was basically it. That's all there was to it. It was luck at the end of the day. And that's how I wound up copying a pair of turtle doves for retail. They did move over to the Adidas app that we all know, either love, hate, it's kind of like a love-hate relationship with me personally, but we all know about the Adidas app that Adidas has been using for, I would say about two, three years now. And on that app, you sign up for your account, and you enter a raffle, a draw system for these hype releases, and it'll tell you, you know, 10.30 or 11 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time, they will run the draw, the release, and you'll get a notification, hey, you won, or hey, you took an L on the release. If you do take a W, they will then charge your card, and then you got the shoe. Things did change here in 2020, right now, as of yesterday, actually. Adidas decided to release the brand new Adidas Confirmed app. So it is the blue app there on my phone. You do have the Adidas Confirmed app. The first step to helping you guys cop is make sure that your app is always up to date. If it's not up to date, it's pretty much an automatic L. So make sure your app is always up to date with every single release. Now, to sign up for releases, I'm gonna talk about the Adidas app in a second, but with the Adidas Confirmed app, to sign up, basically you create an account, you put in your information, and when a sneaker is releasing, such as the Yeezy 700 V3 that does release this Saturday, you sign up and that's basically it. So you put in your credit card information, you put in your address, your billing information, all your legit information, you sign up for the raffle, pick your size, and it'll tell you, hey, you took a W or hey, you took an L when the raffle system, when the draw is going on, which is usually around 10.30 or 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Depends on the release when they want to do it. And it usually runs, depending on the release, I would say usually about an hour. It really depends on the release. But you'll get a notification with, once again, hey, you won or hey, you took an L. So so why did Adidas do this? I want to talk about that for a second. First of all, I think there's a few reasons. The first thing is that, you know, we started off with the Adidas Confirmed app, like I told you before. Then they went to the Adidas app. Now, the Adidas app, don't delete it off your phone. You know, keep these apps on your phone because we may go back to it. They might. Who knows? But keep the original Adidas app on your phone because it is Adidas.com. Like, that's what it is on the phone now. So they're treating it just like Nike does. You know, you have the Nike app 
and then you have Nike sneakers, right? So Nike sneakers is mainly for your hype sneakers. They also drop, you know, not hype sneakers on there, but mainly, every, I mean, every single hype shoe really is on the sneakers app when Nike wants to release it. So make sure that you do have, once again, the Adidas app and the Adidas confirmed app on your phone. It's awesome really to have both. So Adidas did this, I think personally, to drive traffic to another application so that they can, you know, let off a little bit on their main website, on their servers, on their main site and you know, give us the confirmed app. Will they be dropping Yeezys on adidas.com slash Yeezy? Maybe, maybe. I feel like we haven't gotten an Adidas Yeezy release on the website in quite some time. They've been really pushing the app. So I think they might do this with the Adidas confirmed app as well. Now the Adidas confirmed app is not just for Yeezys. It is for pretty much every hype shoe. Right now they do have the Sean Weatherspoon Adidas collab on there. There's some other Pharrell stuff. So guys, the app really, you do need it. Download it right now. Keep it up to date. Now, once it's up to date, create multiple accounts. That's your best way of really copying. Create as many accounts as possible. So use, you know, your brother, sister, aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, cousin. It doesn't matter who it is, friend. It doesn't matter. Make sure that your app is up to date and that you're creating as many accounts as possible. They all need to have different email addresses. The phone number, I think, might be able to be the same. Although, personally, I would try to change all the information as much as possible. You know, you can jig your address. You know, there's multiple ways to do that. You, instead of street, you can spell it out. Um, you could put like a period at the end, apartment, even if you don't live in an apartment, there's so many ways to drag your address. So make sure that you're doing that on each account as well. Now, when it comes to a release, right? All you're doing at the end of the day is honestly just signing up for a draw, a raffle at the sneaker. That's all you're really doing. So with the Adidas Yeezy 700 V3, for example, that I already am participating in, you make sure that you click on the shoe, right, that you want to enter in. Once again, you fill it out, you put in your information, credit card, everything like that. And then you just hit submit that you want to, you know, place the order. Well, if you do cop the shoe, you're agreeing to the terms and conditions that if you do wind up taking a W, you're going to pay them the money for retail. You know, why wouldn't you? But yes, that is basically it. And as you can see, it does say participating once it is done. And what happens is now on August 29th, you can see the draw does say there 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, draw August 29th, retail 200 for the Azureth 700v3. So that's basically it. Now I'm all signed up for this sneaker. I'm also signed up for the uh, Sean Weatherspoons. You know, any upcoming Adidas release, I'm gonna be on the app. Make sure that you're on the app and you're signing up. At the end of the day, it is a raffle, a draw. Remember that. So there's no guarantee. You're only gonna get charged if you wind up copying. And that's about it, guys. Make sure that you guys create as many accounts as possible and hope for the best. Hope for the best, pray for the best. Big tip, I do wanna tell you guys, it's on the app, you'll see it, but make sure that you have push notifications and enable your location services as well for the app when you're on it. You totally make sure wanna do that because you know some releases might be exclusive. They might do in-store releases, again with the app that's how it was in 2015 for the turtle doves you know i got these in store right from the adidas confirmed app so the app told me hey what store to go to it knew i was in new york at the time i don't live in new york anymore so it told me i was in new york and i won the, sh the shoe in manhattan i had to go on the train and go pick up my pair of turtle doves so that's exactly what i did so they might be doing that again i do think they'll wind up doing that again it will not be at every adidas store i'm telling you right now they'll keep it limited mainly at the flagship stores which is obviously new york there's a few uh california the major cities for the most part will have the adidas confirmed app and in-store reservations if they decide to do that which i think they will that's how they did it in 2015 history does repeat itself so i think that's what they'll do once again so they're looking to basically i guess drive traffic off of one server onto another just like nike does right with nike.com nike app and then you have the sneakers app now we have adidas app and the adidas confirmed app one last tip i do have for you is that if you're looking to sign up for multiple accounts and you know multiple entries into a sneaker drawer try to do it on different servers different ip addresses you know they might track it i'm sure they will and you might get banned or some way somehow so my recommendation for that is obviously as many devices as possible lte wi-fi for one or two of them and stick to that because you want to make sure that these ip addresses are different on every account so it will you know not mess up your chances of copying for retail so good luck on the adidas app i hope this video was useful if it was please make sure you guys hit that thumbs up make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and please bro let me know down below in the comments 
any other questions you guys have about the Adidas Confirmed app, I'll make an updated video, a part two maybe if you guys want it. Just leave a bunch of questions that you guys have down below in the comments. I really hope I covered everything. Um, you know, you do get charged only if you cop the shoe. I know on my how to cop Nike sneakers app video that has like over 100,000 views, I had a few people ask me, do you get charged if you don't take an L, if you don't take a W, I'm sorry, on the shoe? No, um, if that was the case, Nike would be probably the richest company ever. <laughs> Could you imagine being charged if you didn't take a W on the shoe? I don't think we all be going for these sneakers every week. <laughs> so with that being said, good luck on the Adidas Confirmed app. I hope you guys cop out there. Good luck. Let me know what release you're going to go for this coming week on the Adidas Confirmed app, whether you're watching this video now, in the future. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.